Hello, this is Tor from IDCON, and this is part eight in common mistakes when performing root cause failure analysis. A common mistake is that we do not use facts and information and evidence the correct way. A lot of times we barely use evidence at all in a root cause failure analysis. I get to experience this because when we do our reliability and maintenance assessments, when we look at how we manage reliability overall, one part of it is root cause uh, failure analysis, of course. And when I look at sample root cause failure analysis, what I see is you may use a tree diagram, uh, you may use five whys, you may use whatever documentation method, but I see a logical chain of event. Like this happened, here's a problem statement, and that was caused by this or this and that. And I see a very logical chain. And what happens is managers read these reports and say, this looks great, it's very logical, it makes sense. But no one ever asks, well, have you proven these steps? Is it that actually what happened? So I wanna show you a little bit how we think about it. So let me show you an example. Let's say we have a production loss. Um, that's our trigger. And that was caused when we write a problem statement. So the inboard bearing failed. So there's a motor with a bearing and then the black part there is supposed to be a roll and there's hopefully a coupling in between. The inboard bearing failed because it was wear on the bearing and an actual force in the bearing uh, was that caused it. So of course it, there's more to this root cause, but let's just take this, take this chain here. What happens is I see these chains described very well in our root cause reports. Well, what I don't see is evidence. So how do you actually verify that that was it? And this seems so obvious. And you see what I've done here in this slide, the, you have cause and effect. So the actual force in the bearing is the cause and the effect is that you get wear on the bearing. And every cause is an effect. You heard this in the root cause before. So that red line is really where I want to have my evidence. So think of the cost, go to the next slide here. You see the cost, you have the effect, and the red line between them, that's basically where you want to have your evidence. That's where you want to attach the evidence in your diagram, in your root cost. Now it doesn't matter if you do 5Y, you may have to do it a little bit differently graphically, or if you have a tree, or whatever it is, but the same idea. Between every cost, there's cost and effect, you need to have evidence between them. So, I mean, it could be as simple as that we inspected the bearing and we saw that the wear is actually on the left side on the bearing and we inspected that and we saw it, therefore that's our evidence that the wear was the cause that the bearing failed. So remember to include the evidence in your cause and effect. If you don't, basically what you have is a very pretty hypothesis that no one knows whether it's true or not. You have a logical reasoning session and not a root cause session. I hope that helps uh, clarify um, a very obvious thing that we want to use evidence, but maybe a little bit how we put it in the diagram and how we can actually use it. Please subscribe and please click the little bell. You get the weekly updates if we have a new video, if you like this, and it's all about reliability and maintenance, all kinds, not just root cause that we're talking about here. Thank you for watching and we'll hope to see you here again.